Welcome to the Irish National Caucus, where we work for justice and pray for peace in Ireland, and where we believe that Ireland too, like the United States, has the right to be one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This simple map says it all. Why should such a small island like Ireland be partitioned? And why is England still dividing Ireland in the 21st century? Irish Americans have never accepted the partition of Ireland, and never will. The Irish National Caucus, although it recognizes and welcomes the progress in Northern Ireland brought about by the Irish peace process, firmly believes that the ultimate solution is for England to finally terminate its long colonial experiment on the island of Ireland. The answer clearly lies in equality, unity, nonviolence, and forgiveness, with liberty and justice for all. The way forward is the creation of, in the term made famous by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., the beloved community. The Irish National Caucus, founded by Father Sean McManus on February 6, 1974, is the only organization in history to open and maintain an office on Capitol Hill to lobby the U.S. Congress on Irish justice and peace. Our signature campaign is the McBride Principles, a corporate code of conduct for American companies doing business in Northern Ireland. The McBride Principles challenge the power of anti-Catholic discrimination by introducing a new factor into the equation, the leverage of American companies. However, we still have a long way to go. There is still deep-rooted anti-Catholic bigotry in Northern Ireland. A significant section of the Unionist Protestant community resents sharing power with Catholics, Nationalists and Republicans because they have never accepted Catholics as equals. The most evident symbol of this Protestant supremacy pathology is the Orange Order's demand to march where they are not wanted, parading their anti-Catholic bigotry through poor, all-Catholic areas. And let's be clear about this. If Catholic Republicans and Nationalists wanted to parade provocatively through all Protestant areas of Belfast, the Irish National Caucus would be the first to oppose it. Furthermore, if there were a move in a united Ireland to ban a Protestant being president of all Ireland, the Irish National Caucus would be the first to oppose it just as we oppose the ongoing anti-Catholic section of the Act of Settlement 1701, which today still bans a Catholic from being king or queen of England, a classic and poisonous example of state-sponsored anti-Catholic bigotry. Please join us in our campaign to keep the U.S. Congress involved in standing up for unity, justice, and peace in Ireland, and in our McBride Principles campaign to ensure that U.S. dollars do not subsidize anti-Catholic discrimination in Northern Ireland. The Irish National Caucus is nonviolent, has no foreign principle, and does not send funds to Ireland. God bless America! and God save Ireland.